Now, at this part, uh, we want to talk about the Newton's second law and the um, normal force. What is a normal force? A normal force is a contact force which is perpendicular to the surf a common surface between two objects. So is a contact force acting perpendicular 90 degree to the common surface between two objects. The examples that I have mentioned here for you are like a book which is resting on a table and you can see the uh, normal force which is perpendicular to the common surface here, the contact, uh, the contact between the two objects which is table and the book itself. So this is a normal force or the uh, more, uh, con contact force between these two objects. Another example can be a person which is leaning against the wall. You can see there are two forces, one from the ground as a letter to sink, and the other one is from the wall to the person. Another example is a box which is sliding down a ramp. The normal force here is a bit length, but it is 90 degree or perpendicular to the surface between the box and the ramp. Which one it is? This one. So it is perpendicular to the common surface between the two objects that are acting upon each other. Object. If object is at rest, what does that mean? It means that we don't have any acceleration or acceleration of A or G is zero. Acceleration is zero. If object is at rest, the acceleration will be, at, will be equal to zero. So the total uh, force equals to m times a. So total force will be zero. The sum of the forces will be zero. It means there is no net force, there is no resultant force because the forces are balanced here. That's why it doesn't move. So it means that these two should be equal. It means that f normal equals to mg. So if the object doesn't move or it is at rest, there is no acceleration because there is no resultant force. So the sum of the forces, mass times acceleration, the answer is zero. So there is no net force here. So there is no acceleration. Or we can say that because there is no acceleration, there is no net force. So how we can um, find the normal force? It means that the normal force and the weight of the full object, uh, both of them should be the same size, well, of course, in the opposite direction. So if you find um, the weight of the object, which is m times uh, mass times gravity, so um, you can find the um, normal force here. Now, first, uh, please pay attention to the first questions that I have given to you. Uh, the first example says that um, consider that we have a box, which is the mass is 10 kilograms, and it is at rest, so it's very different, on a horizontal surface. Find normal force exactly on the box by the table or uh, the surface of the table. What actually we know again, we have to write down. What is given in the question is the mass of the object, so it is given, which is 10 kg. The box is at first. What do we understand from here? We understand that there is no acceleration. Of course, there should not be any net force also. So, A equals to zero. And the sum of the forces should be, uh, which is equal to uh, mass times acceleration, because the acceleration is zero. The sum of the forces should also be zero. It means that the ball is not moving. Um, you can see the diagram here. 
the boss is on the resting on the top of the table. The table of the top is quite horizontal. So there are two forces here. One force is the force of uh, weight, which is downward. And the other one, in the opposite direction of the, to the weight of the object, uh, it is called as a normal force. There is no more, no more forces and the both forces should be equal. We say the forces are equal because um, some we said that the sum of the forces is zero. It means the both of the forces are balanced, they are in the same sizes. So uh, it means that normal force is equal to m times g. m times g, if you remember, is the how you is a formula you used to calculate the weight of the object or the force. So based on this, we know that the normal force should be equal to the weight of the object. The normal force equals to mass times gravity. Equals to a mass we already have here, which is given in the question, you just substituted, times what is the gravitation gravity of the earth, of course. So the gravitational force is 9.81 or 9.8. So if you do the math, you will get 98 newtons for the normal force for this example. So if the objects are at the rest, the total force uh, exerted on the object would be zero because there is no net force and there is no acceleration. So if you want to find the normal force, you should know that the normal force and the weight of the objects they both work in the opposite directions, but they have the same sizes. So you can use this formula to find the normal force of the uh, object in the rest. Do another example. Um, in this example, we have an object resting on the uh, table, horizontal table or surface, and. Um, the object is at rest, it means it has no acceleration, no net force, and um, so it doesn't move. Um, let's read the question first. A 10 kg object is at rest, so the mass is given. At rest means another thing which is given is that th there is no acceleration. It means that the sum of the forces, which is equal to mass times acceleration, because the acceleration is zero if you substitute the sum of the forces will become zero. So the object doesn't move. The next thing which is given is that now consider that you're pushing down on the object with a force of 40 Newton. Calculate normal force on the box by the table. So first draw the diagram, the diagram to understand how many forces are acting on the object which is at the rest on a horizontal surface. This is the box. This is the surface between these two objects, meaning the table and the box. We said that the normal force always is a, a force which is um, acting uh, perpendicular to the common surface between the two objects. So this is a force which is exacted uh, by the uh, table on the box. So it is upward. It is upward. We call this force as normal force. Another force we have, which is the weight of the object, which is towards the center of the earth. The force which is, I am pushing down the box. So this, I call it as a force of the uh, action here, which is here, which is given here, and is 14 Newton. This force is 14 newtons. This one you can find it by this formula. Mass of the object times gravity, which is 9.8. If you push down on it with a force of 14 newtons, pushing down, it, it's very important. When you say push down, it means that you are applying the force and the force vector should be downward, not upward. This down, I'm pushing the box down. So there is a force applied that the direction of the vector of the force is downward, pointing to the ground. So the force, the pushing force, in this should be in the opposite direction 
to the normal force here. So calculate the normal force on the box by the table. So this is the diagram. This is the box which is resting on a table. There are the first thing that we know is that there is one normal force. The normal force is upward because it's a force which is exerted by the table on the box. So the force is pointing up. Another force we have, which is as we said, is the weight of the object, which is pointing downward to the ground, to the center of the earth. So, and we can find that force, uh, we call it as energy because it's mass times gravity. Another force we have here, because we are pushing down, is added um, to this question. That there is a, another force applied on the box, uh, downward, okay, I'm pushing it down. So by how much? 14 Newton's force is applied on the box. So it means that another force I have to draw here, another vector, which is downward in the opposite direction to the normal force, and the side is 14 Newton's. So because the object is at rest, so there is no acceleration, and if you put it in the formula, the sum of the forces equals to mass times acceleration should be zero. It means that the sum of the forces here, the overall, should be uh, balanced. It means there is no resultant force. The sum of the forces, if you add them up together, sum them up together, should be equal to zero. Normal force, what does that mean? Normal force, we consider the vectors that are upward, the forces, upward forces positive, and the values of the forces that are downwards, we call them, we consider them as negative value. So the normal force, we consider it is positive direction, and the direction of the forces here are negative. All the forces that are upward, it doesn't matter we can consider the normal force, which is upward, the force is upward as a negative, and you can consider the one downward uh, as a positive, doesn't matter. But you, I suppose you hear that uh, all the forces pointing up are uh, positive, and the one pointing down are negative. It means that the normal force plus The force that I have applied on the box plus the weight of the object because they are in the opposite direction or negative direction, I put minus. Um, they all should be, the cap, if you do the math, it should be zero. The answer should be zero. It means all of them are balanced, they balance on each other. So, by doing this, I can conclude that the normal force should be equal to uh, the force uh, that I have applied on the box plus m times g or the weight of the object. You can keep them, keep this one here and bring the other two forces on the other side so that the, uh, this minus changes to positive, isn't it? This is it was positive already. Uh, we take this one to the other side of the equation and we find that the minus changes to positive, both of them become positive. So normal force equals to Fa plus M times G. Now, what is given to you? Um, you have to calculate normal force so you don't have this one, which is equals to for T. 40. 40 is the pushing down force, the force that we are applying on the box. How much is it? It is 40 newtons. Plus m times g. m is how much? It's 10 kg. And gravity is 9.8. So it is 10 times 9.8, which becomes 98 newtons, equals to. You do the math, you calculate it, you can use a calculator and you find the answer and it will be finally 138 uh, newtons. It means that 
the force exerted from the uh, table to the box is this much. 138 Newton. The force which is exerted by the table to the box should be equal to 138 Newtons. And we found out the pushing down force is 14 Newton. And mg here is how much? 98 Newtons. These two forces in the opposite direction should be balanced, should be the same. The same is the, the sum of these two equals to normal force because they are in opposite direction and the box is not moving so the overall force should be zero because there is no net force. So I hope that you have understood this uh, question very well and you can answer the question or similar questions uh, very well after this. Uh, let's have a look on the other example here. Um, at this example, uh, this time uh, we try to pull up on the object um, in the previous example, we were pushing down on the object, we are applying the force on the object downward, pushing it down, but this time we push it up. But what is happening here, we are not uh, moving the object, still the object is at the rest and is not moving. So it means that the forces should be balanced, the sum of the forces should be zero. It means that there is no net force, there is no resultant force, nothing. So because the object is at rest and it is not moving. So let's read the question first. A 10 kg object is at rest. So the mass is 10 kilograms. And uh, it is at rest, it means that uh, it's not moving. Uh, so the acceleration also is zero. Uh, it is resting on a horizontal surface. You pull up on the box with a force of 14 newtons. It means that the applied force it should be in the same direction as the normal force. As you can see on the diagram. If the, this is the box, this is the surface. This is the normal force, of course. This is a force exerted from the ground, uh, by the ground on the object. And it is awkward, doesn't let it to sink into the ground. Um, another one is the force that I have applied and it is awkward, I try to pull it up, so it is awkward. Um, I do not know the size of the normal force, but I know the uh, applied force, which is, um, the applied force is, is 40 Newton. So this one is 40 Newton. Normal force, uh, I have to calculate. Another force is acting on the box, but it is downward in the opposite direction to the normal force and the applied force, which is weight of the objects, as I said. So how you can calculate it, it is if you have the mass of the object, mass of the object times gravity, it means here the mass of the object is 10, 10 times 9.8, the answer will be 98 Newton. So here this one is 98 Newton. This, so because the object is at rest, I said, the uh, acceleration is zero. So if I put in the formula, the sum of the forces means mass times acceleration. Acceleration is zero, so the sum of the forces should be zero. What does that mean? It means that if I consider the forces pointing to the R uh, as positive, so it means that uh, the normal force plus uh, F, uh, I mean applied force plus, uh, because this one, which is the weight of the object, is in the opposite direction, is downward, so I consider it as minus, minus mg is equals to zero. Normal force equals to mass times gravity minus uh, applied force, which is 10 times 9.8 minus 4d equals to 58 newtons. So we find that the normal force here should be 58 newtons. So you consider, as you can see here, the normal force is much more uh, smaller than the weight of the object. So this is smaller because we have another force that is balancing this one out. 
So the normal force here is the smaller than weight of the object. Now we have another example. In the two previous examples, um, in one of the examples were like is that the object was at rest and both um, uh, forces in the opposite direction, I mean the normal force uh, and the uh, weight of the objects, they were equal sizes. Uh, but in the second one, uh, the normal force was smaller than the uh, um, weight of the objects. The size of it was uh, quite um, smaller than the both forces. I mean, the force of the, uh, the applied force and the uh, weight of the objects, they were quite bigger than the normal force. So that's why uh, it was more, uh, the reason that the object was not moving. And uh, put here, if you are applying force uh, upward, uh, of course, in another example, we have a force applied on the objects upward, we are pulling up on the object, but the force that um, the total force was again zero, it means that the forces in the opposite direction they were, uh, they were actually equal, and so the reason was that the, uh, they were causing the object not to move. Um, so uh, it means that the applied force and the normal force, uh, they were equal to the uh, weight of the object. And in that example, the, applied, uh, the uh, normal force was a little bit smaller than the uh, weight of object. Um, but now here, we are pulling up on the object and the the, this force that we have, the applied force, is much more bigger than the weight of the object. If it is bigger than the weight, so it means that the object will move. So if it moves, there won't be any normal force here uh, because the object is moving now. And what is happening? Uh, the object, of course, moves to the uh, direction uh, that the we have the, uh, to the direction of the bigger uh, force or the direction of the normal, uh, the net force. Um, let's read the question first and then you'll understand uh, what actually I mean. Uh, a 10 kg object again is at, is at rest on a horizontal surface. What happens if you pull up on the box with a force of 110 newtons. So, so the applied force here, and if you look at the diagram, the applied force is 110 newtons. 110, whatever the normal force is, if you sum them up together, applied force for well, normal force, it would be much more bigger than the weight. So here we don't have any uh, normal force because the applied force is quite uh, bigger than the weight of the object and has caused it to move upward. So I show the direction of the applied force and uh, the direction of the arrow upward. So I have considered the value as positive. The, one, the ones that are downward I consider as negative in the values. They have a negative value, it means minus 98 newtons and positive 110 newton. So now, this force is much more bigger than this one. What effect it has on the object, of course, it moves upward. Um, if I want to calculate the acceleration, it becomes like this. So the sum of the forces equals to mass times acceleration. Acceleration is not zero. It is not zero. We have acceleration. The object has absolute acceleration because it's moving. And what, how much is the acceleration? You have to calculate. You bring them here and the other side. Uh, so acceleration equals to the sum of the forces um, divided by mass of the object, which is equal to sum of the forces means the force in this direction, upward force, whatever you have, you sum them all together and you consider uh, the sign of it as positive. So positive action at the applied force plus the weight of the object, which is negative in value. If I can write it in this 
like this. Uh, this one plus uh, apply force plus minus mg because these are the in opposite directions. Okay, so this one minus this one. Uh, now divided by mass of the object. So acceleration equals to what is the uh, applied force? It is 110 meters. So I just substitute minus. I already have calculated this one. Uh, 10 times 9.8 becomes 98. Divided by mass of the object, which is 10 kg in kilograms, which is equals to 1.2 meter per second squared. As you can see here, uh, the object moves with this acceleration. 